Manny! <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Kale and welcome to Kingston's Indie Hack. On today's episode, we're going to be tackling some pretty cool video hacks that you can do with your GoPro. And because we can't seem to get them off the set, we brought back pro photographer Mark Dimolata. How's hey, it going, man? Good welcome to see you, back. Kale. Hey, thanks for having me back. So we're talking about the GoPro, a device I love. You use it all the time? Well, I typically use it for stills, and the techniques I use can easily be used for video. I want to teach you techniques on how to keep it stable. And also dealing with the elements. You know, we're taking these in extreme environments. I want to teach you the small tricks to make you have the best video footage you can possibly achieve. Perfect. I need all the help I can get. Let's get started. All right, Mark, let's jump right into it. What do I need to get started? For today's hack, make sure you load your GoPros up with high capacity, very fast micro SD cards. This one by Kingston is up to 128 gigabytes. And Class 10 ensures you've got the speed and the volume to record whatever you want to do. Now the GoPro is made to do a lot of crazy stuff, so let's tackle one of the biggest problems which is stability and getting those steady shots. Yeah, the one thing you want to do is make sure that your camera is stable because when your output is very shaky and jittery, it can be nauseating for the viewer. A very simple technique that we can use is just stabilizing the camera against, of all places, your chin. Now a technique like this is good for if you just want to follow the subject, for example panning. The second one, something as simple as your own belt, you can use to also stabilize your wrist for instances of shooting. You're just creating a counter tension against your hand just to keep it steady. And it works far better than just hand holding it in itself. And the key is just keep it steady so that your viewer doesn't have this jittery, shaky view that, that's hard to watch. Cool, that's a good DIY for on the go. Sure. Now the GoPro is waterproof, but surely you have some hacks for that? Well, the thing is they're waterproof, but they don't float. So just imagine you're in the water and you drop this thing in especially murky dark water, you've lost it. For one, you can buy this by GoPro, it's 20 bucks, but why not save a few dollars for extra burritos and spend five bucks? It's, these are designed for keychains. You can affix it with some 3M VHB rated two-way tape. And it's very simple, just cut the size that you need, affix it to the back, get a good strong seal there, and there it goes. Beautiful, Close. look at that. And you won't have to chase after your camera if you drop it. They get some pretty cool shots there yeah. too, huh? You can do Hello, that too. fish. <laughs> All right, so what about those of us that want to get different shots using a selfie stick? Well, the selfie stick's a bit more heavy, so you need more buoyancy. The thing to secure your rig is get a simple swim noodle. These cost about a dollar at any random store like Walmart. Cut it to size and just pop it on there. And if you're just in somewhere like a swimming pool where it's not too turbulent, that alone is, is a good enough fix. But if you're like river kayaking or jet skiing in the ocean or even just surfing in the ocean, you can use Velcro straps or even duct tape just to secure it on the rig. I'm not cool enough to do any of that stuff, but this is perfect for summer. <laughs> All right, Mark, let's talk about time lapse. Sure, one of the most dynamic things you can record with your GoPro is a time lapse montage of images that are shot within intervals. So what you do is you take your camera, put it in time lapse mode, set it to shoot at one frame every five seconds. And it's something as simple as a $5 egg timer that can be purchased at any kitchen appliance store. Just set it up for one hour, peel the backing off this GoPro mount, slap it on the timer, place it in a field of view that gives you the composition that you want to record. Best times to shoot are the golden hour, a half hour before and after sunrise or sunset, and let it just do its magic. One frame every five seconds. Okay, Mark, so I hear you have one last crazy trick for us. Our last hack is a DIY cable slider. The nice thing about the cable slider, it's a nice alternative from a drone. You can use it for aerial shots or if you wanted to follow a subject from a high vantage point. Okay, so how would someone make a cable slider? Um, you can go to a hardware store and get simple pulleys, uh, these uh, carabiner type fasteners, simple laundry hooks, some scrap wood, and a quarter inch bolt to affix to the GoPro mount. You can add a counterbalance, something as simple as a water bottle, and it makes it stable throughout its travel along the cable. Cool, fun stuff. All right, Mark, well, uh, thank you for all the cool hacks. There was some pretty cool stuff out there. We got to try them out in the field. We even got a few comparison shots to check out, but I gotta know, how did I do? Hey, the techniques were simple and straightforward. You did a great job. You're giving the viewer that fantastic out-of-the-box type of view. You can be the next Christopher Nolan. I, I can only hope. <laughs> anyway, so don't just sit there, get out and try them yourselves, and don't forget to share them with us. And also don't forget to subscribe to the Kingston channel so that you can get more Indie Hack and Lots of other videos. So, see you guys later.